Hey there, it's Liana Bolden with Eternally Speaking Now. All right, I'm going to start with a question today. Are you caring or are you carrying? Hmm. Let's start with 1 Peter 5, verses 6 and 7. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. I remember there were these weeks I had just found myself more and more frustrated with a situation that wasn't changing. Maybe you can relate to that. The job arrangement that never improves, a loved one who won't repent, a physical condition that won't seem to heal, the relational pattern that doesn't improve, or a stronghold that seems to never end. Oh, you pray, you pray. You may even see improvement for a while, and then it returns with a vengeance. <laughs> well, I had come to the Lord for what seemed to be the hundredth time, asking him again and again to bring freedom and healing to this never-ending thing I was frustrated with. You know, I had fought in the natural realm, and I had engaged in warfare in the spiritual realm. I had wielded the sword of the word of God. I'd even fasted and prayed for this. I felt like I'd come to the end of that tiny thread. That it's, it's at the end of the string that hangs at the end of the rope. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> why, Lord, why isn't this changing? Why does this persist? As I waited on the Lord, this was his response. You are caring too much. I sat there for a moment, a bit stunned, yet... Considering these words, I was caring too much? I was convicted, but I was also confused. Lord, I asked, isn't it good that I care? Aren't we supposed to care for others? I mean, the fact that I cared was driving me to pray, to intercede and to show compassion. It was motivating me to seek solutions. He responded as if to say, Oh, yes, daughter, do care. That's my heart. But it's become an idol, and now you're carrying it. Cast it on me, for I care for you. Oh, God's word flooded me with truth as he reminded me that he cares even more than I do about the things I've been crying out to him about. He holds it all in his palm, he knows the end from the beginning. He's got everything taken care of. <laughs> he can be trusted. Immediately, I went right into prayer again, but this time it was different. I finally cast it upon the Lord for him to carry and to carry completely. And do you know what happened? Then came the freedom. No, the situation I was praying about hadn't changed and actually still is going on right now. But you know what has changed? My heart. My heart's changed and I'm free now. I'm free to genuinely care while no longer carrying it on myself, no longer desperately clenching my fists around promised deliverance. Instead, I'm freely casting my cares upon the Lord who cares for us and all those for whom we pray. He will deliver, but it will be in his timing and in his way. And his is always best. He can be trusted completely. Let me leave you with the challenge. <laughs> there are two letters that set apart the word caring and carrying. An R and a Y. Well, follow this. There are two letters that set apart the word caring and carrying. An R and a Y. Ready for this? Are we asking why too much? Really? Are, are we asking why too much? At some point, earlier than later, I'd recommend, we just need to humble ourselves before God and let it go. Just let it go. Let it go to him. We aren't humbling ourselves and casting our cares on a dead pagan God. We aren't worshiping an idol. We're casting our cares upon our Heavenly Father who cares for us. 
And something special happens when we do this. It's almost like, well, we get out of his way in a, in a good way, leaving him to do his thing and leaving us to hear him more clearly on how to partner with him in his good work. The Lord has eyes that lovingly see, ears that compassionately hear, hands that gently hold, and shoulders that strongly carry. May you be blessed and set free as you carry your cares to Jesus. Let me finish with Isaiah 46, verse 4. Even to your old age, I am he, says the Lord, and even to gray hairs, I will carry you. I have made and I will bear, even I will carry and I will deliver you.